Do you consider Philip Lindsay your child? As well? uh, he is. Yeah, I, I am a proud papa right you now. You are. That's the way I feel. It's funny. You watching him the, the, the entire year. I feel so. We we we've been kicking ourselves all year long. Uh, why? Because you came on the show, and I remember in, yeah, in late summer. Yep, in go ahead. late summer, because yep. I asked you, okay. This kid, Philip Lindsay, he's undrafted, and he asked for your number 30, and you said, okay. Yeah, and, 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 and that bothered you a little bit. Well, huh? no, it didn't bother me. I want to, excuse me, it didn't bother me. I always look out for your best interest. I got you, I got you. I was kind of be like, what, I what's I got you. up with that? Right. And you basically said, kid's not only cool, but he is old school, and he's really good. Otherwise, I wouldn't have given it to him. And we should have gone on the waiver wire on our fantasy Pitch leagues, like, on the spot. And neither of us did. Like, you dropped that little Easter when egg I on I say our, on something, listen to what I'm saying. I know. Right? He's, Take notes when I say something, bitch. I know. He was dynamite. Yeah, he was good. I mean, sensational season. Now, I can't tell you I saw all that. I didn't see Pro Bowl. Okay. I didn't see him a 1,000-yard rusher. But I thought he could be really good. And especially in that offense, but he, I think he surpassed everybody's expectation, and now he is the man. He is the guy. He is. It's no. It's no longer funny to see number thirty out there and think, why is he wearing that number? No. You know I see, I mean? By the way, it's good that you don't feel. Like, still me. I still can't get used to it. He just. You know what? I he looks. He it. he just. He looks different than I do. If he looked like me, we had the same like features, and he wore a thirty. That'd be a little yeah. bizarre. But he's he's a, he's t totally different. He's smaller. Uh, kind of a scat back. Different different skill sets. Yeah. Um, but I, I, yeah, I guess it's like college, right? You leave college, the next player comes in, he wears your jersey number. So that's the way I kind of see it. Okay, who wears your jersey number for Georgia now? Who wears that? Thirty-three. You know? I don't know. Does anybody wear thirty-three here? I don't know. I have to, I have to look that up. Who, who's 33? who's thirty-three for the, for, for the Bulldogs? <laughs> Stand by. <laughs> Stand by. Right? By the way, this is for anybody out there who was watching NFL Network, or watching on NFL Network, who work, used to work with us. Remember that time where me, it was me, you, and Emmett Smith on the air. <laughs> Don't. Talking about talking about the Atlanta Falcons. Yes, I do. And he was talking about Dunn, who I saw yes. earlier today, yep. and Duckett. And he goes, and there's he another said, guy. He said, Who he goes, that? who's that 33? And we were like. And we you looked. At, no, you looked at me on the air. Well, of course, because I don't, I don't know. Like, so I'm I know. looking at you like. And I, then, then I turned to the researcher like, I don't know who's number 30. I think and it's and by Robert the way, Griffin. that's never a good look on TV when somebody says, who's number 33? 33. And nobody ah. knows who he is. And we're supposed to be experts. And now here we are. <laughs> right. 15 years later, wondering who's 33. 33. <laughs> Literally. Do you know who's 33 for Georgia? Uh, Ian Donald McIntyre. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> that was quicker than the last. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.